Yo, yo, yo. Hey, look. Welcome back to giving out free game, man. Look, there will be some game giving. Y'all already know what I'm finna say. There will be some game giving. Yes, you sir. just gotta catch the game and apply the game to your life if this game is good for your life. Hey, look, my guy, with my guys on here today. For real, for real, man. Yeah, yeah. My guy, man, Digi D. Yes, sir. What it do? BMH, man. For real. Hey, man, give it up for my guy, Digi D, man. Free game. I'm giving out free game. Free game. I'm giving out free game. Apply this game to your life. If this game is good for your life. Apply this game to your life. If this game is good for your I'm life. Giving out free game. Digi D, what's going on with you, man? Right, what's up, brother? What's up? You been good? Yeah, yeah, man. Man, uh, man, man, man when, when you start rapping, man? How long? How, when, what year? What year? How long you been rapping? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been really doing this shit since I was about four. I've been Say doing that. it since two thousand four. Say that. I officially started recording myself two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. You know, and record other people, learning along the way. And I yeah. released my first studio album in twenty eighteen. Yeah, Frankenstein Reloaded. You record yourself, you get your own studio, doing all your own shit yourself. Yeah, you just yeah. said, fuck, fuck, when I'm going to do my own shit. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. No, just over time, just, mm -hmm. you know, being around my dad growing up, watching him being in the industry and watching him shoot videos, record music, you know. So hold on, hold on. You said your dad was already in the industry before you got in. So what, what, what's, your, what's your dad do? Oh, yeah, my dad, Kodak Smack, man, you know. Mm -hmm. He started out doing movies and right, videos. Right, he right. always been into music though because mm -hmm. he used to take me to his shows and shit when I was a kid. You know, right. I used to actually be in the club as a kid. Right, right, right. I didn't even probably be in there, so mm -hmm. I was just always in that. Field. He was filming movies here in Memphis. Mm -hmm. What movies he filmed? Man, he filmed Trap Food. Man, he also got this first. His first movie was mm -hmm. Cottonwood. You know, yeah. a lot of people remember it, but it ain't on DVD or nothing. His first yeah. movie was on cassette tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah some old school shit, but man, he been doing it for a long time it, though. I, oh, I, 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 I did go back on did you know I had to do my little you know my little throwback and go back and see my little research on you mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying see what you've been here going on yeah. but I did come across this this interview you had did right uh -huh. you had did an interview man you and this other guy man it was with the tax shield dude or something man oh yeah my and boy Ola, talk, man rest he, in he peace was, rest and he peace. was talking the, the guy you said the dude that was doing the injury pass? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, that was my man. guy whole lot, man. He 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 had his own thing going on, bad man culture. He was from Africa. Mm hmm And man, he met my dad just, you know, cause my dad was working at the time. He had met him. And my dad put him on my music, mm -hmm. man. Ever since he was just cleaned on to us, mm -hmm. man. He man, he just wanted to put behind us. But because I saw that he said he wanted to put like 20 stacks up, up, mm -hmm. up you know, up for the music. I was gonna ask you, man, whatever happened to that situation. So man. now you already kind of answered it for me. Yeah, my guy passed, he had cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, rest in peace, O lot, man. But he believed in us. Like he really he he helped he helped us invest in our first camera right, to right. shoot our movie. You know right. what I'm saying? So you know, I gotta give my boys flowers, man. Rest in peace, O lot, man. Man, you answered that for me because I was so going to ask, man, about that, man, for real, for real, because, you know, yeah, yeah. I went back and did a little research. Like, man, let me see what DJ had going on back in the days, man, mm -hmm. seven, eight years mm -hmm. ago. You feel me, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to see where he came from, man. Yeah. But uh, when you called me, you said you was uh, Ken folks, my, my, my guy Tiny, man. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah, that's fam, that's fam. How yeah. do you meet Tiny, man? Man, I met Tiny a long time ago when I was younger. You know, just always being around my dad when I was a kid. So Tiny used to be around dad, too? being around my dad. So right. you know, he was just always around with him, my uncles. Mm -hmm. You know, when I met him, my dad used to tell him that he did movies and stuff, too. Right, he right, right. Too, mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, me and Tiny, man, got three movies. Yeah, my three I, seen, movies. I seen Kiki jump. I want to tell you, bro, y'all did y'all thing, man. For man, real. I appreciate it, I appreciate it, man. Y'all did y'all thing on Kiki, man. I watched yeah. that jump twice. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. You know, uh, we've been, we been putting that work in, man. You know, filming these movies, it's, it's kind of, uh, motherfuckers think it's easy. Mm -hmm. It ain't just easy making that shit come together because we write all our shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We write yeah. this shit. We fund it. And we find a local, we find, we do all everything, man. Yeah, it's find the actors. It's not an overnight process. Hell no, man. You know, and then I'm like an uh, aggregator. You know, if a nigga want to get their move, say if you got a movie, right, right. and you try and get it on uh, Tubi, uh, 
any site, man. Never, all them sites, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Free V, all that. I can get your movie on them things. You know what I'm saying? Stampy, stampy. I, I just be asking people to give me 10 to 15% of their movie mm -hmm. because I have to do a lot of behind the scenes work to get these movies on these platforms, man. man you know what I'm saying? It's understood, man, because, you know, somebody got to do it. Don't somebody do it. Ain't nobody going to do it. Exactly, man. But, you know, niggas, if a nigga got good money, good movie, nigga going to make good money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit going to be on Tubi, Tubi paying, man. I don't need a phone no more. Most definitely. Tubi paying, man. Most definitely. For real, for real, man. So where you, where you grew up at? Man, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. Man. What, part of, what, what part of it? East Memphis. East Memphis, Parkway Village, 38118. Say that, man. Say yes that. Sir, yes, sir. Dig that, man. So uh, I know my guy Tiny, man, from Memphis, too. East mm -hmm. Memphis, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to East Memphis. Shout out to my guy T, man. For real, for real. DJ, man, what's the, man, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, man. What's the best thing to do in Memphis to you? What's the best thing to do in Memphis? Man, the best thing to do in Memphis, mm -hmm. to me, right. is, man, Go out to eat, because Memphis got some of the best food. <laughs> I'm telling you. I right, lie, right, Memphis right, got some right. Of the best food, you know. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, you know, I'd be kind of put up, because you know how the city is, for real. Yeah. But uh -huh. if you ask me, I would say, you know, go out and try some of the food. Right, Memphis right. Memphis got some good restaurants, some good independent new restaurants back mm -hmm. home, too. You ain't lying, because I'm finna yeah. go one when I get through with this one. Hey, man, look, what's the, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the worst thing a nigga can do in Memphis, man? Man, the worst thing you can do in Memphis, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. The worst thing you can do in Memphis, man, is mm -hmm. cross your best friend. For I real. swear, man. I That's swear. That's the worst thing you can do in Memphis. Like, won't nobody mm -hmm. respect you after this. Man, you ain't like I was real. gonna say, man, go fucking with these uh young niggas in these hoods, man. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, that's one worst thing you can do in Memphis, man. Go fuck around with these wrong motherfuckers, I'm bro. I'll tell you now, hey, I, I ain't bullshit, bro. With them, with them ski masks on. Yeah. Man, look, I be having to remember I'm 24, I ain't 34, but I be just as scared like I'm 34. <laughs> I'm like, when nigga, I they, they be uh For real. it be 98 degrees outside. I don't know how they hoodies, do it, DJ. Hey, and ski man, masks, man. All black, man. I don't please. know how they do it, bro. I'm like, man, man they different. Tell you, I'm staying out the way. Man. I'm an old school nigga. I'm seeing them. I'm moving out the way. I just went to the store last night. Yeah. I'm coming out. A little bitty car pull up. My about eight on come out the car. I'm like, right. how do you even fit in there? Oh, my nigga. Come out the car like Mexicans. I'm like, yeah. hold on now. Hold on now. All on ski. Up, all man. Man. They, they probably got them things on them tools on too. You already know they do. Yeah, they ain't even going in there on nothing. They just want to whip it. Mm -hmm. That shit crazy, man. That shit <laughs> they crazy. They just want to whip it. And that's even worse. Like, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, I saw you just put the. Uh, you just put a video out, man, two days ago, man. Yeah, my aristocrat status out now on all mm -hmm. platforms, and I just dropped a video. Shout out to SS Productions for making it come together, man. That's when you really shot the shot video? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say that, man. Say that. Hey, man, T did tell me that you was trying to film a movie, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got through working on the film you with did? my pops. Yep. Say that, man. What's the name yep. of it? Born Money Hunger, the movie. Say that, man. When that John drop? Man, that John had dropped. It already, it's already yeah, out. it's already out. It's, it's been out a month now. We well, at 9.5K. Where, where, where I can go watch it at? Currently, right now, we on YouTube, mm -hmm. you know, trying to work out some, you know, some other stuff. See, you see, there, see all these holidays like eat all, man. Right, right, right. To get, get no y'all, yeah, you man. To get, in, yeah, man. Get y'all on, you know, Tubi, them platforms, my Amazon Prime, all them junks. You know what I'm saying? So that's where that's where that money is, man. Man, that's real shit, man. That's real shit. For real, for real, man. Hey, man, uh... So who made who made the track on that jump? Like, that jump hard too, DJ. Me. For real. You made? Mm-hmm. So no, you, I produce everything. Like you make all your jumps though. Like everything you hear come from mm -hmm. Born Money Hungry, I put I did that. And I produce that, all our music. Yeah, so what you be making? What you be making beats on? Man, I make my beats on Fruit of Loop. You know, I mm -hmm. keep it old school. Right, I still right. use an MPC too. Yeah, yeah. But I try to keep it old school because mm -hmm. when I stay original, it mm -hmm. helped me. It helped me be more creative. You're right. Instead you're of right. trying to pay attention to what everybody else doing and mm -hmm. trying to sound like this, sound like that, mm -hmm. I try to keep it original. Right. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of rappers in Memphis, man. Thousands of them now. It most definitely. <laughs> is. Hey, look, everybody man. trying what, to rap. What made Digit D different than all these other rappers, man? What make you different, man? Man, I ain't scared to tell it how it is and point out the BS. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of the music nowadays, they embracing the BS. Right, right, right. And that's what's wrong with the community. Mm -hmm. like, you ain't got enough people that's making it look cool to go to school. You ain't got right, enough right. people out here that's making it look cool to mm -hmm. actually get out here and, and, and have a job, have a 95, and feed your family. Right, right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? They making it look cool to get out here and just do whatever. Mm -hmm. You ain't that's lying, what made my music different. Say I that, man. I don't really just try to condone and doing negativity even though I done been through stuff and did stuff in my life mm -hmm. but I try to tell my story so people can learn from it not repeat it man what you said you yeah. know you gotta have some type of meaning behind it, man I ain't on bullshit man for real for, well, so what do you see the rap game going in Memphis man what do you see it, it going to you think it's getting 
it's getting a whole lot better, or you think it's getting worse with these young niggas still putting guns in their video? They still, you know, motherfucker. What you what you think is headed to, man? My take on it, you know, we can say you no know, Memphis is bad, but you know, it's a ghetto everywhere, right? Right. You know what right. I'm saying, and and stuff happens everywhere, right? But if we're gonna be one hundred, man, I feel like probably about the next five, ten years, mm-hmm. Memphis gonna be the black mecca. Right, right, right. At one point, it was in mm-hmm. but I feel like Memphis gonna be the black mecca because mm-hmm. a lot of people come down here and take bits and pieces of our. They always, they always been doing yeah. the sauce up. Mm-hmm. You no, know, we got the sauce. We ain't gotta go elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Everything come through Memphis. Uh, yeah, you're right, man. Cause Memphis gonna be in with this music shit for sure because month, like you just said, month was always going back trying to get make that shit sound like Memphis or something, bro. Every new song that's out right now, I mm-hmm. promise you, Memphis got something to do with. it. Man, what you said, called Paul and Juicing them going crazy when making these niggas beats, man. Yeah. All these artists, man, keeping them alive. Nigga, they have it, motherfucking, uh, the motherfucking chicken head remix in they beats, nigga. Yeah, I'm they talking got about people in New York, like yeah. everywhere. Everywhere, you, people, bro. you wouldn't even think, wouldn't even know about Memphis. Mm-hmm. That's how you know Memphis going to be the next black mecca. But Everybody, they hate to they give us all props, here. though. They going to give it to us. Yeah. They going to have to at some mm-hmm. point. They going to have to because everything else... You know, once some water down, people mm-hmm. ain't gonna want to keep buying it. Right? They gonna they gonna want to go where the actual juice is. They mm-hmm. want to know where it's at for who real. Who was the who was the top? Who was the top artist in Memphis right now, man? On yeah. to my who was the top artist in Memphis? Who you think the top artist in Memphis is? Other than me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I yeah. say you no, know, no. I say my boy Finesse, he doing his thing. So he Finesse, doing his thing. Uh-huh. He, yeah, he, you I say you say he bigger than Glorilla. Lyrically, no. No, I ain't Number talking about. Wise, I ain't talking about. I, yeah. I ain't talking about no lyrics. Number, I mean, I if we gonna talk about, if we talk about business, the biggest, if we talking about, if we talking business, I'm gonna be honest. If mm. we talking business, Glorilla, mm. she is big. Yeah. Okay, Glorilla bigger yeah. than finesse. Okay, but you, I mean, at the same time, we all know how that go. You know, some yeah. people be independent and some not. Right. So, so do you think Glorilla bigger than NLE Chopper? Nah. Okay, so you so uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. Mm-hmm. So in the, so it, it, when it winds down, you saying NLE Chopper is the biggest artist out of Memphis? I can say that because mm-hmm. he actually is one of the most independent artists in the city and one of the most highest. Mo, you no, know, they stream his music a lot. He yeah. got a lot of streams. He got more streams than every other artist. In the yeah, city. so I, that's why I wanted yeah. to ask, man, because I feel like uh, ain't nobody bigger than him right now. You know, when it comes to man, you know. Plaques, numbers, all that, bro. Then he yeah, the youngest, he, I ain't gonna too. Lie, he, he crossed over to a different dynamic, so mm-hmm. you no, know, it only makes sense. Because he can get so big, he can do that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, when man? When you can make music for a different crowd, you open mm-hmm. a lot of doors for yourself. Right, right, you know, right. No, because a lot of people be stuck in one box. They only make mm-hmm. one, one type of sound, mm-hmm. one type of song. If you can make 10 different types of songs, mm-hmm. you're going you gonna, to you gonna run the game. So is Digi D, is, is, so is Digi D you versatile? With yeah. American making like... With some R&B songs with your rapping on it. Some type of shit talking about, so, you know, some something positive. Something like that. You, yeah, you know look, that type? though I was saying, like, with my video I just released, like, that's more of a turn type of vibe. Mm-hmm. But all my songs be different. Every time I drop a video, it be mm-hmm. to a different type of vibe. Like, right. aristocrat status, that's turn. Mm-hmm. I just dropped Cover the Pain yesterday as well, too. And that mm-hmm. one, I sung on that song. Yeah, I sung more than anything. Like right. I rap too, but I sing too as well. So Say that. I always I, I'll try to sing your ass though. I, I'll sing your ass. We gonna bro. see about that. I ain't bullshit. We gonna see about that. I got. Man. I got. You know, you talking to an engineer, so we Say can get that. in the studio anytime. Say that, man. I feel a challenge coming on. Okay, baby. Hey, hey. Digi D versus Z Dog. What's up? Hey, for real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, so born money hungry, man. Who came up with that right there, man? I DMH. Actually, actually, I came up with it. Yeah. You know it. It used to be Born Leader Records. Mm-hmm. You know, with me and my dad, it was Born Leader Records. Mm-hmm. And then once we had moved to the Twin Those Apartments in 2013, we had met Wild Child, OG, Louis B, mm-hmm. Co. And they was Money Hunger Mafia. Right, right, right. But at the same time, we all was, you know, in, you know doing what we, what we do together. At the same time, we mm-hmm. was a team. Right, we right, right. We was doing right. music together. Mm-hmm. So we all was saying we need to call ourselves something. Everybody wanted to be... On, on one side, I want to be Money Hungry Mafia. Mm-hmm. Everybody on the other side, I want to be Born Leader Records. Right, right, right. I'm in the middle. I'm the one producing everything. I'm the mm-hmm. one making sure that this shit is even heard. Right, so right. So I just, I'm just sitting there. Didn't nobody even really expect me to say nothing. I just mm-hmm. said, hey, let's let's call it Born Money Hungry. Right, right. 
I like it, man. I like that, man. I like that BMI. When I when I when I really found out what it meant, I like oh, because I had to go back and wonder myself, like, man, what what do BMA stand for? Yeah, born. So I, I went back and you know I did my little research on. It. I found out that I like that name, man. For real, for real. Thank man. you, thank you, thank I ain't you. Lying, appreciate man. It, man. I fuck with it, bro. So what's what's next for what's next for Digi D, man? What's next for you, man? Other than yo, you know, you just dropped a hit. You know what I ain't saying? gonna what lie you got to you, man. I got some hot shit in store, man. Mm -hmm. We got Big Mama Measy finna get ready to drop. Her Big project. Mama Measy. We got Zofo. He finna mm -hmm. get ready to drop his new project, Foe. Right, right, you know, right. That's one of the new artists on my label, Born Money Hungry. Mm -hmm. And also, I got a, a album, a solo album coming out, F Y A T. That means right. fuck your attention span. Right. You know, because <laughs> a lot of times, you no know, nowadays yeah. everybody want to make these two minute bops. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm giving you what I got. So you gonna so you gonna hit them with a, what like a. Three, four minutes, five, four minutes like, song? I mean, it's or some, three some verses? Maybe three minutes, some yeah. maybe four minutes. We're going to have you know they, they We're going to have actual videos mm -hmm. that actually make sense to the song that lead up to the next video mm -hmm. and everything. Like, I'm trying to do it for real. I ain't just trying to get out here and do anything. Yeah, because they kind of, that, that, that type of song making kind of left, man. Yeah. You know, back in the day, we were making like songs like four minutes. It, it had three verses it on has, it. It had it three substance. 16s on it, too. It had so, it had so much substance, mm -hmm. you would sit there and listen to the whole four minutes. Yeah, yeah, like, man. For real. For real, so that like you said, they don't even do that no more. Like niggas' attention span has dropped, bro. For real, niggas like you yeah, said, niggas making. About, I got a shorter span, man. Fuck your attention span. Yeah, cause this shit's so dope. You mm -hmm. ain't gonna have no choice but to sit here and listen to it. Cause niggas make a chorus, a verse, chorus, and the song over, man. Yeah, you feel I, cheated. But but they say they do it. <laughs> they say they do it for the streaming, though. You think? Do you think making longer songs or shorter songs? Which one you think is better for streaming? The shorter songs, I think, is better for streaming. Man, I just see it like this. Mm -hmm. If you hot, you hot. If you not, you not. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna stream that shit regardless, yeah. no matter how long mm -hmm. how long it is. If they focus on music, they gonna stream your music. Yeah. They gonna listen to every second of it. It don't matter mm -hmm. if you drop a song that's an hour. Right. If Michael Jackson was still alive today and he dropped a song that was 30 minutes, you think mm -hmm. they ain't gonna listen to the whole 30 minutes? But that Michael Jackson though. Ex you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he hot. If you right. hot, you hot. Right, if you right. Hot, you not. You right, you right, you right, you right. So who, who what artists would Digi D like to work with, man? It don't even have to be from Memphis, man. No. I ain't gonna lie. I always wanted to work with Future. Mm -hmm. No real shit. I always wanted to work with Future. Like, ever since I really just got serious with doing music, right, I've right. been tuned in to do. Like, mm -hmm. really since 2011, I've been tuned in to Future. Yeah. And I also, I, I got a chance to meet him 2013, too. Mm -hmm. When I met him, the nigga told me, he said, don't stop, man. Keep mm -hmm. going, don't never stop. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. one of the people I want to do a song with, man. I ain't gonna lie. Man, what's the hardest thing about coming up in Memphis, man? Because there's so many rappers, man. You know, I ain't going to lie. I, I just found out about DJ D. But mm -hmm. you've been rapping for a long time. Yeah, like, see, one of the main problems in Memphis, it's a lot of hating going on mm -hmm. in the city. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be hating. And then right. it don't even it don't even be out outright hate. Like, mm -hmm. a nigga don't tell you, oh, man, I don't fuck with you. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nigga be in your face. Yeah, yeah, man, this shit hard. I fuck with you. Yeah, man, you mm -hmm. know, I'm a like, share, subscribe, woo, woo. Right, right, they right. They go around the corner, man, fuck that bitch ass nigga. Man, that's, that, that shit slow, man. I don't know. Nah, Y'all bet not hit shirt. Yeah, that's a lot of that be going on. That's, that's crazy as hell. Yeah, that's one of the main problems. It be a lot of slick hating. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of slick hating. Yeah, oh, that's some yeah. real hating ass shit there, man. Mm-hmm. For I real. ain't bullshit. I was finna say something, but you had took my whole words out. I'm like, God damn, man, <laughs> niggas doing that shit for real. They really doing it. That shit I'm talking crazy, about they really man. doing it. Like, they be up in your face. Yeah. They be telling you shit hard. They gonna tell you that they gonna share this, and they gonna put everybody on this, mm -hmm. and put everybody on it. No, oh, niggas be out here Hollywood talking, man. When mm -hmm. I when I when you when you hit me up, man, I went I went and followed you, like your stuff. I went and subscribed to you, all that, because it didn't cost me nothing. Right. It didn't even hurt. It didn't even hurt my pocket. It didn't, it didn't even, nigga, what's, what's that? That was free. It don't hurt, man. Same. Look, man, niggas don't want to see a nigga come up, man. For real, that's nigga that's, that's don't want to see you come up, nah, man. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say niggas in the city don't want to see a nigga come up. Some niggas do though. Some niggas do, but it be a lot of niggas that just don't want to see you doing better than them. That's what it is. That's what it is, yeah, man. That's for what real, it is. For real. That's what it is, right? They want they'll right, they'll see you doing good, but they mm. never want to see you doing better than them. Man, for what real. you see? You ain't lying, man. For real, for real. So you, you you were born in I ain't Memphis. gonna lie, man. You got some good questions. Huh? For real. You got some good questions for real, bro. Man, I'm just doing me, man. I'm on here, <laughs> I'm, I'm on here just man, man, uh being myself, man. And we just really chopping it up, did you? 
we just really chopping it up. You know, questions, questions is just coming up as we talk, man. You know what I'm saying? We in here just chopping it up, man. You feel me? We in here having fun, man. We chilling. This is real, bro. though. This real. Like, this mm. one of the most realest interviews I ever did. Yeah, because, you For know, real. I, I'm out here spreading positivity, man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I fuck with you. I don't got a motherfucking reason in the world I to hate on my too. guy, bro. For real. I want to see you prosper in life. Yeah. Why, why, why shouldn't I want to see you prosper? Why? I'm just saying, man. I'm not that type of guy, man. You, you feel put me, that man? type of energy out there, you're going to always get it back. And I've been living my like, life like that by putting positive energy out there. And like you said, I've been receiving it back, bro. Mm-hmm. I swear, man. It's been coming back to me. Just everybody like, man, you so positive. And that's what I want to put out there, man. We have to have more people out here putting our positive energy Damn too, right. man. Damn right. For real, for real, man. I ain't bullshit, man. So you said you got the, uh, the new... Uh, Album you just put out. You said you got some more shit you finna put out. Oh uh, yeah, and also you know what I'm saying. Me, me and Zofo, we got this mm-hmm. joint project coming out. Right, but it's gonna have a side A and a side B. Mm-hmm. Side A gonna be called Remember Us. Mm-hmm. Side B gonna be called Only Us. Right. I ain't gonna lie, that project right there is gonna mm-hmm. be a real treat for the city. Mm-hmm. Everybody gonna love it. Everybody so when you do it. music, do you? I'm, I just wanna know when you, I'm, 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 when you put out music, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, do you like go on BMI, register it and stuff? Do you uh do your do your copywriting things and stuff right? Do you do all that type of stuff? Do you do your back end on your music stuff too? And you know what I'm saying because you're making your own beats right, so yeah. it's only right if you do that. Man, before anybody even hear what we just did, mm-hmm. I make sure I handle the business mm-hmm. because one thing about the music industry mm-hmm. is ninety percent business, ten percent talent. Show is, man. You can have a hundred percent talent all day long, mm-hmm. but that won't mean nothing if you're not handling you your see business, it, man. What you see, it, man, for real. And then you won't have to worry about man. I ain't getting paid all my shit, but you no. Know, if you go do your business, then money will start coming if you do your business on and your then shit, man. Bigger investors are mm-hmm. seated. Yeah, they'll pay attention to that, and they'll want to put a bag behind you right. because they see not only. Did you handle the business? You mm. may be putting a bag behind yourself. Okay. Like, ain't nobody I'm glad you gonna, said something about that, too. put behind you if you ain't going to put it behind yourself. Do you, would you rather people put money behind you or would you just do it yourself? Nah, I'd rather do it myself. Bet. But that's what myself. I do. I don't want no nigga to put no money behind me. For real. I've been, because when that I've been the CEO in, of my own label. Last. I've been CEO of my own label since 2013. Mm-hmm. I was 13 when I did that. Right. I knew when I was four years old mm. that I wanted to have my own label. Right. I wanted to sign myself mm. and sign other artists and put them on and have them just as independent as me. I, 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 for I, real. I, I take my hat off to you saying that, bro, for real, because this shit a marathon. Real talk. This shit a marathon, man. Everybody gonna get to the motherfucking finish line. Hey, free game, I'm finna get y'all. Everybody gonna get to the finish line. Even the turtle make it to the finish line. He just made it there a week later. The, the rabbit made it there today. All you got to do is just stay, stay in your going. lane. Yeah. Pay attention to what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Just Don't keep you going. do what you got to do, mm-hmm. you going to be straight. Man, just keep going, bro. Don't give up. Like I said, it's a marathon. Everybody going to get to the finish line, man. Yep. And I'm going to tell you what. That turtle going to appreciate his bag when he get it way more than that motherfucking rabbit. Because that rabbit got their bag because he had this motherfucker put some cash behind him. So when he, he get missed his, a lot of He done missed a lot of lessons. And stuff he was supposed to learn along the journey. Yeah. And you know what else he missed? That when that bag come in, he get paid last. Oh, he yeah. learned that one. Oh, yeah. You feel me? He had all his fun in the beginning. Hell, yeah, yeah. He just yeah. didn't know. Look, when they give you that bag, nigga, they, when that bag come in, you're going to get paid last, oh, yeah. bro. And you're going to get paid the less of it, too. That turtle, he going to appreciate his shit so motherfucking much because he finna achieve. He finna get all of it. And he, he don't, don't owe nobody nothing. Nobody. He don't, don't owe, owe nobody, nobody nothing. nothing. And he did it all his motherfucking self, man. I'm tell just trying to tell y'all, man, do it yourself is the best way, man. Because you don't got to owe no nigga nothing. I'm going to tell you, I don't ask a nigga for shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ask a nigga for nothing, man. The only person I ask for something is God. For real. And the only one I got on my That's team, That's who going to make it happen for you. The only person I got on my team, man, is God, my wife, and my sons, man. You feel me, man? And I, that's all I need. For real. I, I'm taking a long route. I've been doing this shit for a long time. But how some, long? Do you do music too? I'm cold. How long you been doing music? Man, I've been doing music since '94. Oh yeah, hell yeah. You know, I'm, 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 I'm certified. You know, I started certified. with Skinny Pimp and Give Me Some Family. I'm part of Give Me Some Family. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm part of Give Me Some Family back in the day. We've been we've been out here. Stamp Nigga, I don't been on I don't been on tour with New Edition 702, Jerry LaVert, Key Sweat. I don't been on tour with all them folks. I just don't tell nobody because. They like, man, where the video is at? Mm-hmm. Man, we didn't have fucking cameras like y'all got now. <laughs> so I really don't be telling people that shit. But then, because they like, man, they want to see receipts and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I like, you know, 
Just take my fucking word for hey, it. Hey, since this you is feel me mind? since this show called giving out free game, mm-hmm. I want to tell you something that I always wanted to tell older you no know, older guys that's in the music industry that's right, still right, in it. Right. If you got old songs, mm-hmm. but you know they hits, mm-hmm. go back and do new videos to them. What you see it. What you say? I even why re- not? I even redo them sometimes. Do video to them. Play I, Fly did it. Yeah, I even I even take some of my old I did and put them on new beats. They like damn, I, I wrote that shit in '98. <laughs> you man, feel me, man? Hit a hit a banger, banger, man. Yeah, damn real. right, man. And like you talk. said, man, it's giving out free game, man. What free game you got for these folks? Man, man, some more free game. Stay independent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep your creative control. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 some of the best game I feel like I can give anybody that's in the industry or that's in the mm-hmm. in the rap industry right now that's trying to make it, man. Mm-hmm. Stay independent. Mm-hmm. Stay independent. Hey man, look, y'all already know. I give out some blunt ass game. Mm-hmm. I'm finna tell y'all, man. Let me reach in my pocket. I got a little game now. Oh yeah. Let me see what game I got. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got this. When will people grow up? I'm going to tell y'all, hey, listen, hey, hear me out now. Men and women, when will people grow up? Sometimes we can see some young kids out here, and they already grew up. Mind-wise. Everybody grows up body-wise. Mm-hmm. Everybody grows up. Everybody grow up to get gray hair. They All our body changes when we get older. I'm trying to say, when will we grow up mind-wise? We all know there's a dude. There's a female in the hood right now, did you? Yep. There's 50 or more and still act like they're 27. Yep. When will people grow up? There's a dude in the hood right now that's 50, still act like he motherfucker 27. When will we grow up? When, man? There's a time in life where you just got to grow up, man. You do. Once I grow up, leave all that silly shit alone. Leave all that motherfucker yelling at these motherfucker schools shit out, man. Mm-hmm. Once my there's a time to grow up, man. Yep. To handle it like I was gonna say handle it like grandma and grandpa, but sometimes I don't see some grandmas and grandpa that never grew up neither. You know, it's you really know what I'm just saying, it's really just about taking your life serious for real. But people, I'm just saying, man. You know, niggas, a lot of people not taking their life serious. They not. They not. Appreciate No, I'm just saying you're right. But niggas are taking their life serious because they out here still at 50 years old. They they've been taking their life serious because they ain't died. Yet. <laughs> they, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They still so, they, so they yeah, eat them. I'm they, just saying yeah. thinking, man, taking life serious about growing your mind, bro. Mm-hmm. Wanting better in your life, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to get out the hood, wanting to stop hanging out in the hood doing certain childish things, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. For, I'm just saying, when will we grow up mind-wise, bro? Grow up, y'all. Grow up, man. It's so many things I don't do. As, when I was a young nigga, man, I'm talking about nigga, I would not do no more, bro. Because I'm grown right here. I'm grown in my mind, bro. Stamped it. For real, man. That's some giving out game right there, man. Right, that's some hey, real I felt game that right one. there. I want y'all to feel that, man. For real. Did you let these folks know where they can find you in, man? Yeah, man. You can go and stream Digit D on our platforms right now. My D I G I T space D. No, I got the new aristocrat status out right now. You mm-hmm. can go and stream Digit D, Drankenstein Reloaded out right now. You go stream that Envy versus Me out right now on mm-hmm. all platforms. Digit D. Hey, man. Look, I ain't did this on my show this year. I ain't played nobody video on my movies, on my, my podcast this year. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to play yours. That's how we coming today? Yeah, we're going to do that. Send me oh, your man. video. I'm going to play your video at the end of this, this, this uh, podcast. Stop bro. that. Stop hey, man, y'all that. make sure y'all check him out, man. Because my boy cold, man. For real, for real, man. man. That's Look, love, Z-Dog. That's love. For real, man. man. He cold, bro. Y'all make sure y'all check him out. Y'all go follow him, man, and do what he said do. Go subscribe to him. It don't cost you nothing. Man, it don't. It don't cost you nothing, man. Damn, and man. It don't he, cost damn. nothing to keep he, it 100. He, he, he didn't get $1,000 because you subscribed. He didn't. He didn't, bro. He didn't. He didn't get no money because you pressed like. He didn't, bro. <laughs> Hey, man, for real. It is giving out free game.
free game, I'm giving out free game. Free game, I'm giving out free game. Apply this game to your life, if this game is good for your life.